would like to happily announce that uh, we are hosting the 15th anniversary of uh, a very concept, new concept exhibition that was uh, launched here in that started from Bangalore in 2005. There was an exhibition organized for commercial floriculture in Kandirva Stadium and that exhibition was such a big success that, uh, I mean, it, we had to really call police on second day to stop people from coming to exhibition. It was so jam-packed because people have never seen how they can convert their loss-making farm into a profitable venture. And that was the launch of uh, Florica, Flora Expo over here, which later on everybody, uh, including the farmers, said they would like to know everything about agriculture, not just commercial floriculture. And we widened the scope it to include entire agriculture sector. So that is what, how Agritech India was launched. For three years, this exhibition continued as AgriTech India, where we were connecting farmers to the latest technology available anywhere. Let me put it this way, sirs, Ukraine farmers can grow grain, gehu at the price of 5 rupees per kilogram, whereas my farmer in India has to grow it at, at least 18, 20, 21 rupees per kg, that is production cost. It's not because of our farmers are less or any, there is anything wrong over here. It is because traditionally we have small farms. Traditionally we are, we are growing it organically. So when our farmers were put to competition with those farmers who had no such limitations, like somebody is having 10 kilometer farm, he can produce with machines, but my farmers are not allowed to have 10 kilometer, we have land ceiling at. So what we thought was by AgriTech India that we want to empower our farmers to know that they have to compete the world. So we cannot change the country, but we can at least bring them the arms by which they can fight. So why not, if Taiwanese farmers are using drones, if uh, Turkish farmers are using uh, automatic harvesters, we wanted to bring all technology which is available latest anywhere in the world to the farmers in India. And we chose Karnataka because uh, Karnataka farmers are the most enterprising and most progressive farmers in India. They are willing to adopt, they are willing to experiment with the technology. So AgriTech India turned to become one of the most important exhibitions at times. It was third exhibition, top three, exhi I mean, top three exhibitions for continuously for almost 10 years. It remained top exhibition in India. So AgriTech India is a concept where we bring farmers but then, unlike other places, we don't just sell anything to the uh, farmers. We say that you come and interact with the India's largest exporters of food, uh, food products. So, an exporter of milk can ask farmers to take A1, A2 quality, different quality of milk or cheese or whatever they require to export. So, we put farmers directly in touch with the food X. Under food X, we are running grain tech, bakery tech, other activities. <coughs> So a, a, an industrialist can tell farmer that I want this grain quality. Somebody wants for rotis, for example, somebody says I want sharbati gehu. But where to get that sharbati variety? And how does farmer know that who is going to buy that sharbati variety? So this is the concept that we launched and thankfully it has been copied all over the world now that agricultural exhibition and food exhibitions together so that farmers have a buyer and farmers have technology to buy. Both the things under one roof. So on 15th anniversary, this is one, but over a period of time, what we have realized, uh, I'll just bring on a small incident of Nagaland. In Nagaland, uh, the government started cultivating anthurium. They distributed anthurium flowers to everybody. And then, if you all know, there used to be roadblocks in Nagaland. At one point of time, suddenly, the Naga people started, they stopped roadblocks. And the reason was told that all the ladies who were growing anthurium, their cultivation was up, they wanted to sell, but they were roadblock it. So they forced their own husbands, let us stop it. We want to sell our flower. So this positive change was brought in by the women in floriculture. And then we found that India's largest tissue culture lab has over 90% ladies producing world quality planting material. The second largest lab has almost entirely full of ladies. We find that all over India, in all the greenhouses, the flowers, the vegetables, the uh, mushrooms are cultivated by women because we realized 
agriculture is a business of love you have to love your vegetable then only you can pick the best vegetable you have to love your animal then only you can have a, a good animal farm you have to love your flowers then only you can produce the best and women symbolize love so we found that successful agri business enterprise have very strong presence of women and therefore we decided that uh, india's uh, biggest association of consortium of women entrepreneurs in india ubuntu uh, we thought that we must dedicate this 15th edition to ubuntu and show the women power in agri business so uh, i'm so happy that uh, i'm here with uh, madam ratna prabhu prabha who is a uh, founder president of this consortium she has been uh, uh, a very senior distinguished ias officer and later on uh, she retired from the post of chief secretary and now we see that she is uh, leading these women and bringing them together to uh, to form a stronger group of women entrepreneurs